Like we've always recommended in most of our videos, Smart DNS Proxy is best set up on your router. That way, all the devices that are connected to your router have access to geo-restricted content. There's plenty of routers out there like D-Link, TP-Link, NetGate, etc. We'll do separate videos for those, so keep an eye out for that. But for now, let's see how you can set up Smart DNS Proxy on your NetGate router. For this instance, we'll set up Smart DNS Proxy on the most popular NetGate router there is, the Nighthawk AC1900. But the steps are pretty much the same for any NetGate router. The setup instructions are only need to be done once. So once you finish the initial setup, you don't need to do these steps every time. The connection will work automatically. With that being said, let's begin, shall we? Before we begin, let's just quickly try to open pandora.com. Since I'm not in America, I would see nothing. So let's see if we can bypass this geo restriction with SmartDNS proxy. Step one, log into your router admin panel. Make sure you're connected to your Netgear router. Now, to get your router's control panel, you need two things. Router's login IP address, username and password. You can find this information at the back of your router, or you can try default credentials for most popular routers. In general, to get access to your router admin panel, open up your web browser, and in the URL box, type either these values, 192.168.0.1, or 192.168.1.1. Fun fact, Netgear ships many of its home routers, configured to use either routerlogin.com or routerlogin.net instead of an IP address, so you can try that as well. Enter the username and password for the router. The default username is admin, the default password is password. If these doesn't work, contact the person who set up your network. He or she might have a custom password, which is a good security measure but now you need to get in touch with them. Step two, find and change DNS to Smart DNS Proxy. Once you log in, your Netgear router's interface might be a little different from mine, but all you have to do is look for a section where it says DNS settings. If you have an entry level Netgear router, poor you, click on setup in the left menu and look for basic setting options. Or if you have a high-end Netgear router, go to the advanced tab and look for the setup option. There, you might find the option to enter custom DNS server. It should be a label as primary server and secondary server. Instead of automatic DNS, that is the one you get from your ISP, choose custom DNS. Use the closest DNS service to your physical location to get the fastest streaming. You can find the complete list of servers on our website. The link is in the description below. For this instance, say if I'm in Canada, then I'd use two DNS servers from Canada, and once you're done, save the changes. To make sure the setup is done properly, it's always suggested to have your router restarted. It goes without saying that you will restart your router and the internet will be down for a few seconds, so just make sure you give a heads up to everyone. Step 3. Activate your new IP address. Now, just as we did in our previous SmartDNS proxy setup, you need to log into your SmartDNS My Account section and activate your new IP address. If you haven't already created an account, you can do it now. SmartDNS Proxy offers 14 day free trial with no credit card being required. Once again, go to my account section, make sure you've got the three green texts. If your IP issue is not active, simply click update IP button. And that's it, it should work now. Though do remember, most devices on your network will not begin to use new DNS settings unless you restart your device. Now that you've set up SmartDNS Proxy on your router, Let's see how it automatically connects to every device, giving it access to geo-restricted content. Let's open pandora.com on the laptop connected to the router, and as you can see, it works. Similarly, if you open the Hulu app on your smartphone, you should also be able to stream content using smartdsproxy.com. Though, do remember, since most home users have dynamic IP addresses, whenever it changes, you need to log in back into smartdsproxy.com and update your new IP address so that you can continue using our service. If you've done that correctly, our system will check your new IP address and add it to our database so you can continue using our service forever. So that's how you set up SmartDNS Proxy on your Netgear router. Also, we'll be doing a video on open source router real soon, so keep an eye out for that. If you like this video, lasso that like button and choke the hell out of it. As always, I'm Vamp from your SmartDNS Proxy and thanks for watching.